Now, whenever you set up a backup system, it's best to test it as soon as possible just to make sure you know how it works and what the implications are in using it. Let's say that you take a break now and you start exploring some of the other tools available in Drupal and you create some content. And now you want to roll back because you want to continue with the video series. Well, we can just go back to the Backup and Migrate page again by going to Configuration, System, and Backup and Migrate. And we can click Restore. Here we can choose the backup file. So we'll choose the one that we just saved and click Restore Now. So we get this reassuring message that says Default Database Restored from Upload File and then it gives us the file name. In order to verify that this worked, let's take a look at our content listing page. So I'm going to click on content up here, and you see we now have no content available. That node that we just created has been removed because we rolled back to a previous state. Now almost all of the settings and content that you see in Drupal is saved into the database. The exception are files that you upload to pieces of content, things like user images or any media associated with content, as well as any files that you upload for the theme settings, like the logo. This means that if you accidentally delete some of those files, then you'll have to rely on a backup of your actual hard drive rather than the backup and migrate module.